Hey guys, um, I got another crafty haul. I got several stores. I got Tuesday morning, Dollar Tree, Walmart, and I stopped at a um, used store. It's called um, St. Vincent de Paul. So I'm going to start with Dollar Tree. Um, some of these are gifts and some are for me. So I got this fun foam. But this is fun for crafts. Uh, I got a couple packages of sequins. These are probably left over from Halloween or something because it was the only package. Uh, I got these two containers here that I'm going to use to put my sequins in and separate the colors. Because once you open these little bags, they, you can't seal them back up. And I figured this way I could just open it up and pick what I wanted. Um, I got a paintbrush for some stuff I'm working on around the house. And I got these head wraps. Thought those were cute for a gift. And some clasp free flat elastics. These are for a gift as well. And that was all at Dollar Tree. Then I went to Tuesday morning again. I got I got some more of these market tags. They're $1.99 each. There's 50 and they're three and one eighths by six and a quarter. And I found this um, beaded stuff. I'm not sure what, it's, what it is. But it's by Simplicity and it's 99 cents. But I, I know what I'm going to use it for, but I just don't know what you call it. Beaded ribbon, I guess. And then I got a bunch of wire for bracelets and stuff. So oh, I ended up with two green. I didn't want that, but it's okay. So I got all these. I got two green, a copper. Um, this is kind of a bluish gray color. I can't see what it says. Let's see. It's dark. Dark blue. And black. And these were $1.49 a piece. And they've got, let's see. This The copper one has 30 yards. The green one has four yards. Um, this one has 30 yards and this one has 10 yards. And I got some wire clippers. Oh, here's another red wire that is 30 feet. And I got some of the small tags. 50 pieces or two and five eighths by five and a quarter. There's another wire. This one, I'm not sure what color that is. Antique brass, I think. That's five yards. And I got my stapler that I wanted because the other one was for a gift. Um, there's another piece of wire, 99 cents. wire. 0.25 ounces. And this fabric, which I thought was really cute. It's like a um, canvas material. I think it'd be cute for a, a bag. Tote bag. So that's everything from Tuesday morning. The fabric I think was $3.99. And there is one yard. And then I got this stuff from Walmart. I got some fabric. This is a gray anchor and a purple. They're fat quarters, which are 18 inches by 21 inches, and they're 100% cotton. And I think these are like a dollar a piece. Um, I got these to make little, um, a little pouch out of. And I found this um, elastic cord. Thought this would be cute to make my own, my own um, hair bands with. those. I got these self-adhesive gems. Um, I found a couple bottles of paint that I liked. There's this extreme glitter hologram. There's this metallic amethyst. 
and metallic pearl white. And I got a bunch of beads, because I'm going to make some bracelets with the wire. So I got a couple of each of these. Two blue, two purple, and the pearls. I thought these were really pretty. That's those. And I got this little blue chain. Another purple bead. And I got these little charms to put on the bracelet. These are nautical. And I got these lobster claw clips. These are going to be for some tassels I'm going to make with paper. And same with these head pins. So hook everything together. And I found these little charms as well. They're kind of nautical to beach, kind of beach theme. Starfish, fish sand dollars, and shells. I thought those were really cute. Uh, I got this chain, which is going to be used for the little tassels I'm making, and the jump rings, which I'll be making a video for those. And I got these little mini clothespins. And at St. Vincent de Paul, I got these three books to make um, a junk journal with. Uh, they were only a couple dollars a piece, but I like they were in really good condition. Um, they'll come on apart from the back really well. They're going to be easy to take apart. And a couple of them I thought were really cute. They had uh, names in them, told where they lived. And this was dated, the lady's name was dated 1973, but the book's older. Let's see what the copyright was. 1966. It's called The Waiting Sands. But I liked it because it was red. And I thought that would just be cool for the junk journal. And I got this one. This one's pretty old too. It's called The Agony of the Ecstasy. A bi bi biographical no novel of Michelangelo by Irvin Stone. But this was pretty old, too, and I liked the size of the book. It was nice and wide for a nice junk journal, and it's coming apart really easily. I think there was even a picture in here. It's all stashed away in one of these books. Not this one. I think it's this one. And this one also had a nice cover. This one was $5. This one was more expensive, so I don't know if this book. I don't know a lot about books. This could be something special. I'm not really sure. But I thought it was neat because it had someone's name and signature from 1943 in it and there's even a little story here I thought was cool so I thought I'd keep that it says love to dear I'm not sure what it, the name is I, know that I think there's something else in here but I just thought this was cool I got it because of the sentimentalness of this, this little newspaper ad dated May 16th 1943 I just thought that was so cool not really sure what it is. Orientalist story. Let's see what this one is. May 16th, 1943. Chicago Sun. That rises above defeat. The tragedy and nobility of Greece. Conquering but still fighting on. I thought that was cool. Anyway, I thought this was a cool book. I'm going to see if it's worth anything before I tear it up because I really have a hard time tearing stuff up like that. You can see how long this has been. This has been in here since 1943. I just thought this was so cool. So I don't know if the book's worth anything, but I thought it was neat that it had this story in it. And this one, this one here had a photograph of it and a little girl. I thought it was cool. I was like, I just want to get it. There's a cute little girl in it. There's no name or anything or how long old it is, but the book is pretty old, so who knows. It's dated 1958. So I did a little investigating into the pioneer of the past, pioneer to the past, and these are 
articles that were written in the newspaper of the Chicago Sun about the book. And this is kind of like a review of this, uh, reviewed by John T. Frederick. That's his review of this story. And it was the news article about the book. It came out when the book came out. And this is another story about the book. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and I did check out the book. It seems like it's worth a little bit of money. Um, so I'm actually going to put it on eBay and see how it goes before I decide to cut it up and keep the story in with it. So I thought maybe somebody would be interested in this before I cut up the book. I thought that was neat. So that's where we're at with this book. There's a little tag in it. And I'm not sure what the name is, but this must have been the tag that was with the book when they gave it to him for Christmas. So that's my haul. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.